Got another question on the carbonyl compounds topic and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. Okay so the definition for the term homologous series we need to say compounds with the same functional group but each successive member differs by CH2. For the next part we need to establish the general formula so it's CNH2 n plus 1 CHO. So if it's got 24 carbons, written like this would be C23H47CHO, but it wants molecular formula. So we have to just group all the um, like atoms together. So it would be C, obviously C24H48O. Moving on to part B, confirming the functional groups in F and G. So F, there's only one functional group. It's the aldehyde functional group. So all we'd need to do is add Tollens reagent and you'd expect to see a silver mirror. For compound G, we've got two functional groups. We've got the ketone and the alkene functional groups. So we'll start with ketone. So the first thing you need to do is confirm it's a carbonyl. So you'd add 2,4-DNP, orange precipitate confirms carbonyl. But then you'd need to rule out that it's um, not an aldehyde. So you'd add Tollens reagent and you would not expect to see a silver mirror. So if it's not an aldehyde, it's therefore a ketone. To confirm the presence of the alkene functional group, we just add bromine and the bromine is decolorized. Part C, so the mechanism. So the first thing we do is we bring in the cyanide ion from the HCN. Put the dipole across the seedable one door. And we take a curly arrow from the lone pair on the carbon to the slightly positive carbon in the carbonyl group. That's going to repel the pi electron pair in the seedable bond or completely under the oxygen. So that's going to generate this intermediate here. And then we just bring an H plus ion into play from the HCN. And we take a curly arrow from the lone pair on the O minus and get that H plus bonded. So the organic product is going to look like that. The name of the mechanism is nucleophilic addition. So this is the nucleophile, a cyanide ion. It's an electron pair donor. And finally, why does the mechanism involve heterolytic fission? So there's a couple of things we need to say. So the fission part is the fact that it involves the breaking of a covalent bond, or you could say it involves the breaking of the pi bond of the seedable bond O. Heterolytic because the same atom or the oxygen atom receives both of the electrons.